What if lions were introduced into the Amazon rainforest? The Amazon is not only the world's largest rainforest, it's also home to a plethora of animals. It hosts 3,000 species of fish, 1,300 species of birds, and over 420 species of mammals. So, what if we introduced another mammal into this mix? What if lions were introduced into the Amazon rainforest? Lions are not native to this area, so if they were transplanted here, how would they handle it? Would they thrive, or would they wither away? Lion's Habitats Lions don't live in the Amazon. They don't even live on the continent of South America, where the Amazon is located. Let's explore what a lion's habitat currently looks like, as it has some similarities to the Amazon, but also some vast differences. The biggest similarity between the majority of lion's habitats in the Amazon is the lines of latitude. The Amazon is mainly situated in Brazil and spans across other South American countries like Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and more. The Amazon is right on the equator, reaching about 5 degrees north of the equator and 15 degrees south of the equator. Now. Let's look at where lions live. There is a small Indian lion subspecies that lives in the Gur forest of northwestern India. Though once upon a time, lions used to live in many parts of Asia, Europe, and Africa, they now mainly reside only in Africa. Lions mostly range from the southern parts of the Sahara Desert, like Sudan and Chad, all the way down to the northernmost parts of South Africa a range that is about 15 degrees north of the equator to 30 degrees south of the equator. As you can see, those lines of latitude are quite similar. Lions are no strangers to heat, but when you look at the specific climate they are used to, they don't live right in the desert, nor do they live in rainforests. They span from open plains to thick brush to dry thorn forests in Africa. The climate in the Amazon is far different from what lions are used to, but at least there are plenty of places for cover. Details of a lion It's great that we know about where lions typically live, but we need to know more about them before we go moving them all over the world. Female lions will be 7 to 8 feet long and can weigh up to 350 pounds. Male lions will be 9 to 10 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. These are huge cats with broad heads, strong legs, and they are powerfully built all over. The lion is one of the most muscular animals in the world. Impressive sizes, right? After all, lions are the second largest cats in the world, only paling in comparison to tigers. And for these reasons, lions are apex predators unmatched in their habitat. Yes, there are other predators such as hyenas, but the lion is the biggest and strongest predator in all of Africa. So what does the apex predator of Africa eat? Lions eat primarily large animals that weigh between 100 and 1,000 pounds, even animals larger than themselves. Their favorites are zebras, gazelles, and wildebeests. If they're having trouble finding larger animals, they'll prey on smaller animals like rodents and reptiles. If they can't get the kill themselves, but a hyena or a leopard does, lions have been known to steal the kill from them. That's the advantage of being an apex predator. Lions will hunt alone, but also in prides, with the lionesses usually doing the work. A lion's strategy is to use its golden tan coloring to camouflage with the surrounding plants and landscape. They stay low, hidden, stalking their prey and nearing closer and closer. Lions have amazing short burst speed and power. However, the prey they seek out tends to have more endurance and better long distance speed. So, lions like to get close to their prey and then pounce when the time is right. Okay, 
We know a good deal about this apex predator in its own place, but will it be able to adapt when we relocate it? The Plunge into the Amazon We mentioned that the Amazon occupies much of South America, roughly between 5 degrees north of the equator and 15 degrees south of the equator. But because it is a rainforest, it is humid and quite warm. Lions are used to the heat, but typically deal with dry heat. The Amazon is usually around 78 degrees Fahrenheit, or 26 degrees Celsius in the rainy season, with relative humidity around 88%. In the dry season, it's on average 82 degrees Fahrenheit, or 28 degrees Celsius, with relative humidity about 77%. If we compare that to the grasslands of Africa, which have many lions, it's far more humid. The relative humidity of the grasslands in Africa often stays right around 70%, but the temperature of those grasslands usually ranges between 68 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. The heat shouldn't be much of a problem for the lions. They're used to that but the humidity is another factor. Lions would have to adjust to a much more humid climate. Just because they don't currently live in tropical rainforests doesn't mean they couldn't. It appears lions don't quite prefer that climate, as there are tropical rainforests in Africa, but you won't find lions there. But if forced into it, could they adapt? Lions already adapt to different environments throughout Africa, so if they were placed in the Amazon, they might be able to adjust over time. But they'd have to change significantly. They'd probably have to conserve more energy due to the slightly added heat and humidity. However, lions have always been good at finding shade in Africa when needed, and the rainforest provides much shade from direct sunlight. That could be a benefit. Lions sometimes go a day or two without water, only getting water from their food, but in the rainforest, they likely wouldn't have to go as long. Water would be more plentiful for them, which could be an advantage. More hydration, more energy. However, lions love to use the color of their fur to blend in with their surroundings when sneaking up on prey. Much of the Amazon rainforest has lush greens and other vibrant colors. The lion may stick out in many situations, so they'd have to become even stealthier, a trait they already possess. Hunting for prey would become much more difficult. Wildlife of the Amazon For starters, lions are not going to want to go to the Amazon if there isn't food for them to eat. Well, they don't have the options of zebras or wildebeests or anything like that. But there are capybaras, the world's largest rodent. Clocking in at about 150 pounds, that could make a decent snack for the lion. How about wild boars, which generally weigh around 200 pounds? That could be a good meal for the lion. And then, probably the animal that the lion would most want to make a meal out of would be the lowland taper. They're usually between 330 and 660 pounds. That's a great meal for the lion, and all these animals would likely be decent targets for the lion. Let's not forget, in tough times, lions may resort to eating smaller rodents and reptiles. And we know the Amazon has plenty of reptiles, especially snakes. But are we sure the snakes are going to be prey? Or might they be predators? Well, there is the green anaconda, which can get up to 30 feet long and 550 pounds. Likely, the lion won't be trying to make a meal of that predator. It would be best to avoid it. There are some other apex predators in the Amazon that the lion would need to watch out for. In the water, there are eight foot long electric eels and bull sharks that can weigh between 200 and 300 pounds. So, there's more water available for the lion in the Amazon, but the water isn't perfectly safe. 
it's ruled by plenty of vicious creatures. Transitioning between land and water is the Black Cayman, 16 to 20 feet long and about 1,000 pounds. We know lions sometimes take down prey that is 1,000 pounds, but nothing like a Black Cayman. A lion would likely not want to tangle with a Black Cayman. That fight could go either way. On land, the other big predator of the Amazon is the jaguar. Ah, a fellow cat. A smaller cat. Yes, the jaguar is the world's third largest cat. The lion is the second largest. So, if another big cat exists in the Amazon, so could the lion. And just like the lion does with other predators back home in Africa, it could steal their kills, as it does with the hyenas, or exert its dominance over them. Lions rule the lands of Africa. If dropped into the Amazon, theoretically, they could rule the lands there too. They'd be smart to steer clear of the water except for a quick drink. Lions would need a significant transition period to acclimate. The humidity would be a big factor. It's not even certain they'd fully adjust. But if they did, they'd still have to adapt their hunting technique, with their coloring not blending in with their surroundings as well anymore. It would be a large adjustment period for a lion in the Amazon, but we've seen lions thrive where they currently are. Let's not put anything past them. 